Hey aspiring actuaries, welcome back to my channel, The Actuarial Quest. I am Anchal, your actuarial mentor and this is a Know Your Exam series in which I will brief you on all the actuarial subjects one by one. I will pick one actuarial subject for each video and I will share all the important details related to that subject such as what you will learn from that subject, its exam format, its application in the actuarial world, recent year pass rates and pass marks, its prerequisite subject as in which subject you should have already studied before starting with this subject and any other thing specific to that subject. Today's video is on the subject CM1 so let's get started. CM1 which is actuarial mathematics is usually the first actuarial paper for many students. This subject is all about interest rates and cash flows and it is the base subject for life insurance. And you will be introduced to various life insurance products, their features and cash flows. You will learn how to calculate premiums, how to calculate reserves, how to calculate profits. You will calculate the probabilities of survival and death using certain formulas and the life tables. You will calculate the accumulated values and present value of the cash flows by considering the timing of those cash flows, probabilities of the cash flows occurring and interest rates. It includes two papers. Paper A is a 100 mark theoretical written based exam of 3 hours and 15 minutes and paper B is a practical excel based exam of 1 hour and 45 minutes. Paper A and Paper B are conducted back to back in two consecutive days. The pass rates and pass marks of each subject keeps on varying with each diet depending on how difficult the paper was set up and how the students performed overall. For CM1, the pass rate is usually around 50%. So if 100 students sit for the exam, around 50 of them are able to pass. The pass marks for CM1 are usually around 56 to 58. So in order to pass CM1, you need to score a minimum of 56 to 58 marks. There is no prerequisite subject for CM1. CM1 is one of the base actuarial paper. Actually, CM1 is the prerequisite subject for many other actuarial subjects like CM2, CP1, CP2, SP1, SP2 and SA2. All the words and concepts that you will be introduced with in CM1 are used very often or very frequently in the actual actuarial world, particularly in the life insurance field. So words like premium, reserves, uh, present values, you will be using almost every day while working in the life insurance sector. All the financial products like equity, bond, index linked securities will also be widely used if you go into the investments side because all companies including all insurance companies have investments. So you should be able to understand the features and cash flows of all these financial instruments. Similarly, you should be able to understand the features, benefits and cash flows of all the life insurance products introduced in the subject CM1 if you wish to work in the life insurance field. Like I am also working in the life insurance field and one of my role requires me to analyze and justify the movement of reserves with time for various life insurance products like term products, endowment, whole life contracts, uh, with profit contracts. And if I don't know the basic features of let's say a term product, then I will not be able to analyze whether the reserves should increase with time or decrease with time. All the rates including interest rates, spot rate, forward rate, effective interest rate, nominal rate, discount rates are used very often. So you must understand all these rates very well and how these are related to each other so that you can quickly calculate one rate using the other. Various project appraisal methods like NPV, IRR, payback period, discounted payback period are also widely used in the actuarial work. To measure the profitability of any investment, any financial product or insurance product, these measures are used. For example, if the shareholders of a life insurance company require their term assurance product to give a minimum of 6% return and if the IRR of that product is 8%, then the shareholders will be happy because it is a profitable product. Okay, that was about CM1. There is much more to look for in the subject CM1. I tried to give you a gist of it to give you some idea. I will cover all other subjects in the upcoming videos of Know Your Exam series. Till then, please like and share if you found this video helpful. Signing off for now, we'll be back soon.